Yo, what is up you champions? It's your boy Rona here back at it again with another video. And today's video is going to be about Waco Nationals over at North Carolina, um, Myrtle Beach. <clears throat> and this is going to be a little bit of a longer video because this will have two fights because um, it was a uh, tournament bracket. But let's get straight into it. Alright, so this is to the air- or no, 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 this is the airport at Maryland. Um, and then to- uh, Myrtle Beach and then we went to go pick up my coach at Myrtle Beach and brought him to the venue where I got my physical my doctor's check and my weight and I checked out the venue I checked out the two rings um, it was a pretty nice venue it was in a hotel but it was still honestly a pretty nice uh, venue here's my coach warming me up in the uh, uh, right side and this is these are the like first few fights before my fight um, I had to be there four fights, uh, I had to be in the room four fights, uh, before, and then <clears throat> start getting ready at around the third or second fight, but you were, they had little training rooms, and you could only be in there, uh, ten, ten fights be, before your fight, so, here's Amin, he's training me for, uh, for the fight that's coming up, and then, on this side, he's getting me ready because this was like right before my fight. And so he's putting my, my headgear on and everything. Alright, so this is going to be the first fight. <clears throat> they are calling in my name right now. I think I go against uh, Preston. Uh, I forgot his last name. It'll show up though. But I did forget his last name. Preston Sokoa. And he's from Sakoa do Soko Sakua do Karate USA, and I'm from Capital MMA. Um, that's uh, me and Bala Freak. He's my coach in most of my Muay Thai fights um, or kickboxing, whatever it is. It, it could honestly honestly be an MMA fight, uh, but he's usually always my coach. And there's my dad. He's in the background recording. I think, yeah, that's him. And I ended up fighting in the blue corner. I think in the second fight, I ended up uh, fighting in the red corner. But I'm wearing my Wolfpack shorts. Uh, my my uh, my wrestling gym is actually Wolfpack. I, they said no Muay Thai shorts, or at least with any of that uh, Muay Thai riding, because this is a kickboxing uh, fight, so that's why, that's why I'm not allowed to wear those Muay Thai shorts. So I was just like, all right. Let's do wrestling shorts. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just... Here's the first round. Two minute round. Uh, two minute three. Three two minute rounds. So right here, he was backing up. He's kind of a karate kid. Um, right here he goes in. When you clinch, you're going to see when they clinch, uh, it's going to be stopped pretty fast. Because it's uh, kickboxing. Right here, we're just, we're just scrapping. He was kind of putting his head down, so it was, it was a lot easier for me to um, get better hits on him. <clears throat> right here, see you see how fast they stop the clinch. Once you throw one knee, they stop it automatically. So right here, first round I usually like to feel him out, but it wasn't really happening. Right there, I just, I just, uh, I just, yeah, I just put a flurry on him. I teeped him, and then I just punched. That was a bad kick by me. And then there was a, there was a nice kick. I don't, it landed, but it like kind of slipped off. That's why it didn't seem like a clean kick. Right there, I caught the teep, and I was going in. I was trying to box him a lot during this fight. Uh, especially in round one, because I knew he was a karate guy, and what I wanted to do was go in as much as possible on him, because karate guys are usually guy are usually guys that are really good at staying outside and good with uh, kicks. I don't know what this camera angle is. Well, that was a nice uh, head kick. Yeah, the the rounds are gonna seem a little bit weird, like how the timer is still going. I think it's thirty second. Uh, rest and then one minute thirty rounds. Yeah, but yeah, my game plan going into this fight was definitely just to stand as much as possible. Uh, 
because I didn't want him to use his distance. I've gone against karate guys before, and if you if you stay at their distance, they're just gonna play with you. So that's what I tried to do is just not stay in his his range or the range that he wanted to be in. <coughs> The the junior fight after this was actually the fight that I ended up uh, go, that I was gonna go against in the finals. Coach was telling me to when I finish with my flurry of punches and with a kick, step back out, punch, and then step back out. <coughs> All right, round two. As you can see, he's trying to he's trying to keep his uh, distance. I don't know what that camera angle is. He's trying to keep his distance, and then there's that was a nice that was a nice punch by him. It, it was a clean punch. Right here, I'm kind of playing his distance, which isn't what I really want to be doing right now. And then he comes in with the flurry. I end up clinching. And I hit him with the knee right there. A lot of small flurries. I go deep, and then uh, this is where I wanted to keep him inside of that corner. I tried, but he he kind of pushed up. There's a nice deep by me. And then right here, I'm just I'm just trying to I'm just trying to end it right here. I was just throwing hard hard slugger shots, and then there's a nice there's a nice knee right there. They break it up. Um, you can hear my coach. He's yelling for me to go forward. And then there's a nice deep. And I'm just, I'm just going. I'm just throwing flurries on on him right now. And then there's another knee. And yeah, that one hurt him. That knee hurt him. Yeah. But that that was the end of the round. Was right there at the, uh, right at the uh, knee. So what pretty much happened was it was just a bunch of flurries, and once he was in that corner, I knew that I had to just try to end the fight. And I definitely found found a uh, passion for those knees in this fight. Um, you'll see in the next round what I mean by that. Um, I think I think at this this uh, this round my coach was definitely telling me to work the knees because it was as you could see that last minute or that last second that saved him <coughs> because I hit him with that knee so the the round pretty much saved him and um, he was just telling me to work knees teep get him in the corner uh, if you need to throw a flurry. Make sure you throw an outside knee, and then you clinch, and then you knee. Because if you throw an outside knee, that's one knee, but it doesn't count as a clinch knee. And then if you go in, if you go into the clinch, and then you knee, then that's two knees, and you usually can't do that in uh, in, in kickboxing. So there you go. There, there you see. I was trying to work the teeps, and then and then I hit a knee right there, and he's just coming in going forward and we're just throwing flurries he was kind of honestly for being a karate guy he 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 liked to go in a lot he liked to be in the pocket which was surprising and then there's a nice head kick and then there's another knee there's another knee and i'm just i'm just throwing flurries i tried to hit the knee i missed and then i hit another knee boom i missed that knee as well i missed two knees in a row pretty much but I hit a couple of nice shots. And there's another nice knee. There's another nice knee. I was just working the knees from the outside. There's yeah, another one. The there's yeah, another the knee. Answer, and then he clinches me up. Yeah, right here, I I don't know. I did like I wasn't I wasn't finishing the fight for some reason. Then there's a nice body kick. See, I'm just backing up for some reason. I should I should be trying to push him into the corner and and knee him. And there's another knee. And then I get behind him. Hit him with a nice right hand and then a hook. Then another good flurry. Hit him with a knee. And then another knee. 
yeah. And then that was the end of the round. It, that that didn't count as a knockdown or anything, but that it was just the end of the fight, end of the round. Even though the ref is still counting for it, it still was the end of the fight, and it it doesn't count as the uh, as a finish. So yeah, it was a good fight. He's actually uh, we figured out after the fight that uh, Preston he's local. He's like he lives near us. I think. Um, Maybe like 45 minutes away from us. So <clears throat> it was cool to have a nice little training partner. I don't think, well, I've, I've actually met him once in practice, but I haven't seen him since. So hopefully I can see him a, f uh, a few more times. Good fight from Ronan, though. Prep for some more fights. So this was only, this was the first fight of uh, Waco Nationals. I have another fight after this. Um, you can either go, if you lose, then you go third place. If you win, you go for first and second. And, uh, yeah, it was a good fight. Um, just, there's a lot of things that I could have done to finish the fight. There's a lot of things I could have done to be, avoid, or, I mean, to n avoid being hit. Um... There's a lot of things I done I did wrong, but there's a lot of things that I've improved over over the uh, years. <clears throat> this is my first ever kick kickboxing tournament, and it's the national tournament. So, <clears throat> but I think it. I mean, I have MMA experience, and I have. Uh, uh, Muay Thai experience, so. You know, they just, they were like, oh yeah, well, we'll throw them in there. We'll throw them in there for the Kickboxing National Tournament. They were taking a long time to announce this. I didn't know it was this long. I think it was because the fight over there was going on. They had two rings. The venue was pretty nice. Yeah. They're there. So, yeah. I got the win. Um... Then I ended up going to go get dinner with uh, my parents and coach, and then prepare for the next day. A lot of pressure. And yeah. So this is this is the championship fight. We're gonna start off with the championship fight. This is I don't remember his first name, but his last name is Gonzalez, and he's from uh, Westside Striking, and they're more of a boxing. They have, or he has more of a boxing type style, um, but I saw his first fight and he was more like that's what he did, and in this fight he kind of changed up his style. He was playing smart, <clears throat> but I was expecting that um, boxing style. And he completely changed his style, which was good on his part. So this first round, uh, championship fight. There's like no one in the venue. I'm just now noticing this. I was one of the last fights. I was supposed to be one of the first, but that clearly didn't happen. <clears throat> Alright, round one. So as you can see, he's backing up. Like, this is where I was ex expecting him to just come come in forward. That's why you see me uh, pushing in so much. That was a good low kick by Gonzalez. And then in... in uh, you'll, you'll see the ref stop it a lot, because... In kickboxing, you're not supposed to catch the kicks, and since I'm so used to, that was a good uh, kick by me, but in um, kickboxing, you're not allowed to catch the kicks, and there it is again, I caught the kick, but since I'm so used to MMA and uh, Muay Thai, I caught the kicks, like, you'll see, I, I caught it so many times in this fight, it's, it's insane how many times, I just could not stop myself from uh, catching his kicks. There's another uh, kick trade-off by both of us. Um, feeling each other right, feeling each other out right here. There's a nice kick, and then I come back with two, a uh, uh, one-three actually. <clears throat> There's a kick trade-off again. He hits me with a jab, and then I hit him with a body kick, and then I push him up to the corner, hit him with a nice knee. Um. So yeah, this this first round definitely surprised me because I was expecting him to come full force and try to 
uh, box me. There's a nice kick trade off. And then there's a nice uh, right hand by me. And there's a nice hook by me. Um, but yeah, he just kept moving back, which was really surprising to me. So, yeah. Like a pit bull. He's coming out to fight. In in the corner, uh, what he was telling me was to just keep pushing forward because it's working. And uh, he, my my coach, he was also pretty surprised. I mean, Balafri, he was a uh, he was surprised that he wasn't pushing in forward because we watched this fight and that's just that's we we were kind of game planning uh, the day before. We were kind of game planning for the, him to be pushing in and to use my teeps and to. Um, Try and just keep him away from me as much as possible. Use my kicks as much as possible. And then I started. I was the one uh, pushing in and being more active. Which was just. It, it's like we pretty much switched styles. Which was. I mean I guess it worked. But. This is the second round. <clears throat> so he hits a nice low kick, and then uh, there's another. I, I caught the kick again. Ah, bad habit, especially in kickboxing. That was a nice uh, counter kick by Gonzalez. Then there's another. I caught the kick again, and then there's another knee. In, in international level, this is what the ref told me, in international level, if you catch the kick more than twice, then you're out, you get DQ'd. But since it's since it's just Waco, uh, Nationals, they're kind of laid back about it. I, I really got to get out of the habit of doing that when I'm, uh, when I'm uh, sparring for kickboxing or getting, getting ready for a fight in uh, kickboxing. Oh yeah, right here, he, he hit me with a nice... Uh, I think it was a hook or something, and uh, my headgear, I mean my uh, mouthpiece, mouthpiece got shot out. So right here, uh, what I was doing wrong, I feel like in the second round, was um, going forward a little too much. And there's another kick that I caught, which is dumb. And so, uh, I don't know what what's going on. but. When I, I I just couldn't get out of the habit of uh, me catching the kicks. You could tell. You could see he's telling me he's like stop catching the kicks. <clears throat> and then my coach wanted to. Uh, yeah, they they gave me they gave me a point deduction because I was catching the kicks so much for for the round I think. And then the coach wanted me or uh, Amin wanted to fix my um, headgear. So you'll see him doing that right now. But yeah, I did get, uh, I got a point deduction because I caught the kick so many times. I mean, I caught it six times. That's, that's an insane amount of times. Yeah, I wasn't trying to be like dirty or anything, but that's just, that's just what happened. That was a nice uh, jab by Gonzalez, and there was a nice low kick by Gonzalez. So right here, I, I feel like if I was a little less aggressive than... Uh, I probably would do a lot better because my my style is usually to be a, a little bit more counter uh, offense. I mean counter defensive, and I I like I just I just was ready to brawl because I don't know. I, like looking back at it, it just it made no sense to me whatsoever. Like why would I go in against a uh, a person that's trying to counter me? Why would I try and go in and brawl with them? And in that second round, he definitely took advantage of that. I feel like I lost that second round. I feel like I won the first round, lost the second round. And then you guys will see what happen in the, happens in the third round. But, yeah, I just feel like if if I wasn't pressuring as much and I was just playing my game of counterpunching and uh, doing my counter offense that I usually do in Muay Thai, and if I just stopped catching those kicks, because that's like, ah, that's all I could do is catch those kicks. I couldn't. I, I just could not get out of the habit of doing that. Think if if Ronan kind of uh you know you'd be a little more disciplined with catching those kicks. I don't want to see him to get in trouble. The the uh, announcers are saying. Um. If if I could stop catching those kicks, maybe uh, I would have got that second round. But since that point deduction, there's the ref. He's telling me the same thing. You got a point deduction for the last round. So this is round three. This is what it all comes down to. If I win this, then I win. If he wins, then he wins. So.
This will be the deciding factor of the fight. Yeah, the announcers are saying it was a good back and forth uh, second round. <clears throat> so right here, there's a nice combo. Then that was a nice little kick. I was, I was, when I was uh, pushing in a little bit more, I kind of wanted to look for some knees. He hit me with a nice knee right there. Man. Then, uh, it was a nice just like trade off. Then I hit him with a kick. Boom. And there's another, there's another trade off. Then there's that knee that I hit. And then there's a teep. Another good kick trade off. Then, boom. Drive cross. I had him with a drive cross and then a nice kick to the body. And he was just backing up a lot this round, which allowed me to uh, work as much as I could and try to push him back, which looks like I'm controlling the fight. And then right here, I kept him in the corner, and I, I uh, tried to work my hands as much as I could. Boom, and there's another teep, and then I work him into the corner again. And then I go to another knee. I was looking for those knees a lot. I don't know what he told me there. And then, yeah, Gonzalez just kept uh, pushing back. I think we we're both tired at, at this point. We were just trying to, whoever won this round just got it. So we, we just gave it our all at this last, <clears throat> at these last final seconds. So yeah, there's a fight. That was, uh, I mean, it was a close, I guess it was a close round. I don't know. I, I feel like since I was, I was backing him up a lot of the round, and I was uh, inflicting more damage. I felt like I won the last round. Um, when I was in the corner, I thought I won the the fight. I go over to their corner and say, uh, good work. But, yeah, I don't know. I It was a great fight. That was a good national fight. Uh, first national... Uh, Kickboxing fight. I keep thinking this is Muay Thai, but yeah, this was my first ever national kickboxing fight And I actually moved up in weight classes. I could have gone 112, but I went 119 um, I think because the 112 division wasn't there was like I think one person in it and we we wanted to go over there for fights Here's the ref telling me international Internationally, um, if you're kickboxing and you catch the kicks more than twice, then you're out, you're DQ'd. But yeah, it was a split decision. And there you go. So it was, it was, a, it was a good fight. Um, it was a very close fight. But uh, yeah. Westside striking, they definitely were. Uh, probably, I, I think they were the champion, the champion team, because they brought, they brought so many people, and like all of them won, like every single one of them won. So it's a good gym to compete against, especially in uh, the national tournament. So yeah, it was good. It was good. A uh, little, little day. And I haven't, I wasn't really cutting weight. I mean, I guess I kind of was, because I was kind of worried about, I, I always usually uh, worry about my weight for some reason, even if I, even if I'm like 115 and I'm fighting at 125. But I was fighting at 119 and I was cutting, I mean, I was uh, at like 117, so if I ate too much, then I'd be overweight. If I didn't eat too much, then I'd be way under. So I don't know, I was, I was worried about, not eating uh, much and then eating too little. That was it for today's video. That's that's what happened at Waco Nationals. If you guys enjoyed the video, um, as always, leave, leave a like, subscribe if you want more content, and as always, stay champions, never give up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.